With doubtnet, get instant video solutions to all your maths, physics, chemistry and biology doubts. Just click the image of the question, crop the question and get instant video solution. Download doubtnet app today. Hello everyone. Let's start this question. So the question says that what are vestigial organs and give any three examples. So let us try to find out what are vestigial organs and what are the examples of these vestigial organs. So the vestigial organs are the non-functional organs in an organism. So the organs which are of no function in any organism, such organs are known as vestigial organ. All right, then why they are present then? So these organs are functional in some related organisms like the close, uh, closely related species and they were functional in the ancestors. All right, so what are vestigial organs? These are the non-functional organs in an organism. These organs were functional in their ancestors. And hence, it is one of the important proof that the evolution has taken place. So here we can say that it is a proof of evolution, right? Then in the course that in the course of evolution, we are not using these organs anymore or our body does not require these organs, but still they are present because they are present. Uh, they were present in our ancestors and now are also present in our body. And the nature is slowly reducing these organ organs from our body. They are removed. They are getting removed slowly from our bodies. OK, now let us try to find out what are the different examples of these vestigial organs so the first example is the appendix you might have heard about the appendix it is also known as vermiform appendix and where it is found so it is basically a tube-like structure which is found in the lower abdomen Okay, so appendix is found in the lower abdomen, but it is non-functional in humans, right? So it is non-functional now, but it is it was it is considered to be functional in the our ancestors. And what was its function? Its function included digestion of the cellulose as we all know that in human body cellulose is not digested but in our ancestors the appendix helped them to digest cellulose okay so this was the function of appendix second second is the wisdom tooth as we all know that humans have 20 uh, 32 teeth right 20 in the earlier stage and then the th 32 teeth out of these 32 the last set of molars are called the wisdom tooth the last set of molars are called the wisdom tooth and these are considered to be a vestigial organ why because these are non-functional then why they were present in our ancestors because of their different feeding habits so they had a very different feeding habits than the present day humans and because they were eating raw food that is like a raw meat etc right then coming on to the third one there are multiple vestigial organs in the human body then the next one is coccyx it is the tailbone it is a tailbone which is the 
part of our vertebral column. It is also considered vestigial because it is the remaining or the residual part of the tail, right? So it is the part of our vertebral column. Apart from that, there is nictitating membrane. It is also known as the third eyelid. So it was used, it is non-functional in our body now, but in our ancestors, because a few, a few, they, are, they were considered to be evolved from the water. So first life began in water. So when these organisms were in water, so when they were for, for most of the time when they were in water, this membrane prevents their eyes. So prevention of eyes from water because the contact with water for the long time can have problems can create problems for the eyes right so that is why nictitating membrane was there but now this is non-functional because we do not reside in water anymore but it was functional in our ancestors so this is all about the vestigial organs and these are a few of the examples that are vestigial in our body but they were functional in our ancestors Thank you so much. For class 6 to 12, ITJ and NEET level. Trusted by more than 5 crore students. Download Doubt and App today.